What's up guys, Tony here, and today we're going to be talking about NVIDIA Surround, or as you know, it's better known, three monitor setup on the PC for Black Ops 2. So it's, what I'm going to be doing is a series here where I review multiple games and their support for NVIDIA Surround on the computer and my own experience with it. Uh, so you're seeing it running right now, I'm just screwing around, I'm actually all the way to the right of the display, so if the gameplay is not that good it's because I have a bad angle on the displays, I didn't want to get in the way. So you guys can see it perfectly. Sorry if the angle isn't the best. This is the best I could do. Uh, but basically, first off, we're going to talk about uh, Black Ops 2, the game, and its support for NVIDIA Surround. If you want to run NVIDIA Surround uh, with Black Ops 2, which, by the way, you need a graphics card that supports either NVIDIA Surround, which is usually a single 600 series graphics card. That's probably above a 660 Ti. Um, and you also, for the 500 series, you need two... 560 Ti's or higher, I believe. Maybe even a, six fi uh, a 550 will support it, but that's what you need, and you need three monitors. Um, that's not what this video is about. So basically, Black Ops 2, its support for NVIDIA Surround is probably the worst support out of all of the newer games that are coming out lately in this new generation of gaming, where NVIDIA Surround is kind of a, a more common thing. Um, literally, when you take it out of the when you take it out of the box, put it on, and you load it up with 5760 by 1080p display or resolution, uh, it's cut off on the right screen by about three fourths of the display, and it's also very stretched, um, which is common. Usually, stretching is not a big deal. Uh, you just need a widescreen fixer. So I got, of course, the obligatory widescreen fixer. I put it on, and it fixed the aspect ratio. It fixed every, it fixed uh, the stretching. And it looked perfect, but unfortunately, the right display was still cut off by three fourths of the display, as in half the more than half the display was just black, uh, which means I couldn't see my right screen that well. Um, so, in order to fix that, you actually have to go into the widescreen fixer and just ch uh, check mark uh, increase the wi uh, the widescreen uh, distance. There's just one thing that says that I can't remember exactly what it is. I'll probably put it in the description, uh, but it's called Hayden's fix, and it's very simple. And um, once you have it all set up that way, it, it looks great in, uh, in NVIDIA Surround. Uh, some games, they'll put the uh, HUD on the left side of the screen and everything will look really weird. But I think Hayden's Fix uh, did it perfect. It works great right now for Black Ops 2. I've had no problems besides those I already mentioned. And um, the actual gameplay itself, you, you do benefit a lot from the NVIDIA Surround. Uh, so if you do play a lot of Black Ops 2 or any Call of Duty uh, it is definitely worth going for NVIDIA Surround, because like in any FPS, it's good to have uh, as much view on your right and left screen. I constantly find myself uh, having better reaction time because I see someone on the right screen. Of course, uh, that that's a very big determination to be made if it's worth it for you, because it is a lot more money to be spent, especially if you don't have a graphics card that supports it, and you don't have two monitors laying around. Uh, but overall, it runs great. I think it looks awesome. Once you turn the, you should turn the FOV as high up as possible because it gives it the best view. Because when you're in low FOV, it doesn't look as good. But uh, it's it's really great uh, playing Nvidia Surround on it. I'm actually running on a six on in this video. I'm running on a 670 um, super clocked four gigabyte from uh, EVGA. It actually as a single card for only 430 bucks. It's actually a really really good. Uh, card to run Black Ops 2 and NVIDIA Surround at max settings. This is at max settings, by the way. Um, you know, it's not like most games like Battlefield 3, where when you run Ultra on uh, NVIDIA Surround, you, you get a huge detriment in your frame rate. It's actually pretty good. And uh, if you want to record, of course, what I do is I actually uh, record all of my footage to the theater, and I record it afterwards in 1080p. So uh, it's actually a really good way to set it up like that. Um, some other games don't provide theater mode uh, as efficiently, so it's nice to have that feature. And um, overall, it's you know been performing well. It's a lot of fun. Um, the fixer was a little bit of a problem. It took me a, a lot of time and patience to figure out what I needed to do. But uh, if you're watching this video, obviously it shouldn't be as hard for you because all you have to do is go to widescreenfixer.org, I believe it is, and download that and just switch it over to Black Ops 2. And once you've done that, you are able to turn on the widescreen fixer and uh, it should be all working fine for you. So yeah, that's my uh, review of NVIDIA Surround for uh, Black Ops 2. I think it's awesome, and if you have the opportunity to try it out at any point, it's definitely worth it. So that's pretty much that. If you want to see more games running on NVIDIA Surround with a little bit of a review, kind of like I did here, or if you want to know how to do NVIDIA Surround, period, uh, check out my channel, subscribe. If those videos aren't all out already, they'll be out soon. And uh, that's pretty much it. I am Tony, and I'll see you guys next time.